high. That's where we are in the league. We might be in 13th. But we've got a match in hand on everybody that if we win, we are four points out of eighth place, which I do believe is going to be in Europe. So, I, I mean, you know, we probably got to win all the matches we have left. The issue for us is that while the first two were Everton and Burnley, the last two are City away and Newcastle at home, which are both very difficult. Wooly, thank you for the eight months. All right, Everton just got promoted with us, so this is like absolutely a pride match right here. This is a match to make sure that we are the number one team that just got promoted last season. Both of us are safe. Also, if we win, we're still technically alive for Europe, so let's do that. Why had it? There's nobody there. There we go. That's the type of composure we're looking for. Yes. Way to way, be way to be brave. Be brave. Ooh, make a run. Ooh, make a run. Okay. Oh my, he just couldn't get going. But he got the ball back. Bad shot. Oh, slip. Oh, yes, Hernandez. Let's get Hernandez. I hit the wrong thing. I always open it, and I'm like, I'm going to praise, and then my body just reflexively encourages, and it's the wrong thing. He's off. He's definitely off. Thank you. Run. Run. No, this guy's actually pretty fast. Is that... Who is that? That guy has stuck with him really well. Oh, how did that get through? But the thing about Jokic is, like, Jokic is like, oh, my goodness. Hold that thought. No, we'll let the... We got to the ball first. We just have to get rid of it, man. Literally got to the ball first. What are you doing? Oh, my God. We've run this game. He just ran over the ball and it was like a back heel assist. He just ran over the ball and stopped it for the other guy. Mari. Oh, he wants Oscar. Oh, beautiful ball. Oh, Oscar. That was well done. That was well done. Nice. Nice. Just run. Yeah, it's a shame for that guy because he did actually just stroke it in the... That's actually brilliant goalkeeping. I haven't seen us get cooked like that in a very long time. Bro. And that probably cost us our spot in Europe. That's a death slammer for sure. God. It's encouraging that we're able to play well, but I would like, you know, to torch like four guys on this team. Salvatierra at least gave us a good game. Okay, what are you playing? Four, two, three, one. Pretty basic, if I say so myself. Well, if we are going to do absolutely anything, we've got to win this game. This is like legitimately our last chance to get anywhere near the European places is to pick up a win in this game. So disappointing draw against Everton, but let's win this one. Is Everton that bad right now? Absolutely. Everton is in an abhorrent financial situation. If it gets relegated, it, he's offside. Uh, it, it is entirely conceivable that Everton, Everton would like have to reconstitute. This is a tricky spot. We haven't really done anything offensively either of the creativity of a tree stump. Could you? Oh my goodness. I, it's the, it's the freaking corridor. I mean, we legitimately have one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys in the box. We are marking one, two, three, four, five, six with nine guys, and nobody shuts down Gutierrez. 
We're not hanging back here. Good God, Brandon Evans. Thank you. At least he atoned for his sins. Can I, can I have just lived without that? So do I think I'm, but the way they normally handle that stuff, I'm surprised he didn't get like three years. Bring it down. Yeah, baby, let's go. That was a sick goal. That was a sick goal by Mark. Way to bring it down. All right, now we can set a play up here. They're really pushed up. If we can get through them, we have gotten through them. Oh. They were so pushed up in the box. Knocked down. No. A deep, straight-on free kick foul on the edge of the box in the 89th minute. That's a pretty good summary for the season, you know? That's a pretty good summary for the season. We have conceded it must be a record number of penalties. Every issue we've had, we've conceded like 15 penalties this year. Well, that's, uh, we'll add that to the dose of the unfortunate. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, he's stolen it. He's absolutely stolen it. It's Maury with 30 seconds to play for Taunton Town. It's a, it, it's a heavy dose of cheddar cheese from Mari. Prince Awning. Oh my goodness, they're in. Oh, that got by him. Patrick was wide open. If that ball got in, the, uh, if that ball got across, he was there to tap that in. He will see that in his dreams tonight. I was literally zooming out while it happened, but here's the play. Oh! Oh, I mean, great finish to the match. I really wish we didn't give up that that pen, but that was, uh, that was a wild 2-2 away to Burnley. Fonseca that close to being the unbelievable hero at the end of the game. Might have sunk Burnley, too, if we scored. I don't know where they, like, oh, that draw basically makes them safe. Fulham, Brighton, and Norwich are going down. Actually, Brighton, with if they win their two, I mean, I know what I'm saying. If they win their two matches in hand, they are tied with Burnley and Leeds in a point off Wolves. They're probably not going to win them both. Great performance from Mari out of absolutely nowhere. Well, Man City away action. Oh, they're fifth. Are we going to have a new champion? Nah, it's still probably Liverpool. It's been City or Liverpool this entire save, but United is in there. But it looks like Liverpool. All right, we're going to bring our lines back. We're going to go balanced. We're going to add some time wasting. And uh, we are going to play our game or something. This is tough. Away to Manchester City, and we are notoriously bad on the road. And then we're away to Manchester City. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Now we're fine. We're going to win. We drew them 2-2 at home. We're very competitive against the big clubs at home. Oh, what a spot to start a highlight five minutes in. Oscar Hernandez! Oh, why did you go for the Grealish, man? Now, I've been training Evans to play defensive midfield all season. We used him there because Doyle got hurt and honestly had a really good run. How did nobody react to that? Guy literally blocked it because he was standing there anyways, but nobody reacted to that ball bouncing off the post to the point that I thought it was bouncing a lot farther. That wasn't even high XG. That should have been so high XG. Again! Dude! But I don't know. There's a ton we can do about it. Patrick. Hernandez. But we're limiting. We're limiting. Let's go. Oh, Evans. 
Hernandez. A ref! We actually got one. Oh my god. Yes! Jade Nadai was fouled! <sighs> yeah. Dude, if he hit that pass to Holland, I think we just got to live with that. Speaking of living with that, what a shot. That's right. That's the type of goal. That's the type of goal we want to make him score, honestly. If, he, if they're going to score that, they're going to score that. That is not even near the easiest shot they've had in this game. Uh, we'll go Mari up there, Brandon Evans up there, and then Tommy Doyle as the halfback. What's up? We finally broke right after our subs. The subs literally still walking off the field. We just kept, dude. That's the first time they've opened us up the whole game. That's Diaz game right there. Stretch that field. Oh, that was not a bad effort. Bro, some guy named Flavius scoring his first goal of the season to make it a really unfair 3-0. That corner hit Newbill squarely in the palms and went in. All righty, Newcastle. At least we get him at home. We're very good at home. Away to Newcastle was a 7-1 defeat. Um, Ian is also retiring at the end of the... You know what? <sighs> New will start. But he has been bad. All right, playing at home, we're going to have a little bit of change in confidence here. But let's get it. Let's get it. Final match of the year. Playing for 12th. We do have, uh, we have something to play for. Play for a little bit more money. Newcastle, who are in fifth. They're in the top five teams in the league. Uh, and there really is that class of the top five teams and then Tottenham and Chelsea who are kind of good and then everybody else. Away the lads. Whoa, man. Whoa. Get in the away end. All right. Get in the away end of the chat. Oh, Newcastle's playing for Champions League. Good. They've got nothing to play for. Absolutely nothing to play for. Taunton Stadium. Honestly, guys, in a celebratory mood, we have survived our first Premier League season. We have done so rather comfortably. As we go into a final match day, playing at home, we can be happy that we will be Premier League next season as the team predicted to finish in last place even after all of our transfer business. We, uh, we gotta be very happy with that. We've proven a lot of people wrong in our climb, and our climb continues. Mari. Uh. Ooh, Toth shot out of a cannon. Mari. Oh, yo. That would have been nice. Oh, big save by the geriatric Alexander Nubel. But that was a really showy. Good save for Nubel in his last match. Michael Elise, way to stay with him. That was good defense. Shut most of it down. Doing a good job here, Vosbach. Finding a new home as a defensive right back. That was so going wide. He just want, he wants a few more profile pictures before he's done. He's got no run.
a little disappointed in our defensive pickup there. There was literally one guy. Come on, give us an opening. Give us an opening. I believe you are going to give us an opening because you are playing for Champions League. They're really not. That or we're just not taking it. We'll take it now. All we need to do is take one. Our defense and ability to keep them away from the goal has been really nice. Oh, oh, Bailey! Where's the revenge? Dude, the revenge is not losing 7-1. This team abused us the first time we played them. Thirteenth in the league. Thirteenth in the league. And a really sound performance against Newcastle at home to round out the season to show the progress we've made. That's a good season. That's a great performance. Uh, obviously would have loved to have taken the chance we popped open with there at the end, but we averaged over 0.1 XG per shot. We kept them under 1 XG. Uh, that's a really sound performance in a 13th place finish. 13 points above relegation, uh, 11 points out of European places. That's the right side of mid-table that you want to be on as well. And uh, wow, Villa just flew down. And that's it. That's a oh, that's a good season. As much as I hate to say something like that, finishing 13th, it is a good season. I think we got better as the season went on. Um, obviously, Patrick vows to oh. Tottenham have been, been given 18 million for achieving 13th place. The board is pleased the team achieved a mid-table finish within the Premier League this season. However, we at one stage look like qualifying for the Champions League, so we shouldn't get too carried away. Okay, board. Sure. Sounds good. Thanks, board. Appreciate it. Thank you, board. Yes. Now we are managing England against Brazil in 17 days in the super classic whatever, but I do want to see if we can see the money that we're making. Yeah, they, uh, appreciate that, board. Thank you. They've got my kind of expectations. Like, hey, don't get too carried away, you know? What? Where, why are we still here? Oh, my goodness. Brandon Evans was second in goal of the year. Let's watch. This is a crazy goal. That is insane. The 360 bended into the corner. Just a crazy goal. But it lost to this. Yeah, E360 no-scoped it. No way. Is he shooting? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, what they're doing in the, the like in the actual match engine is giving him credit for like a really impressive succession of dribbles. But it just didn't look that impressive in the graphics engine. I think Brandon Evans got robbed personally. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I just want to get our budgets. Oh, they gave us forty-three million. <laughs> they gave us forty-three million and upped our wage budget to sixty million. Oh, the board, the board is swinging, chat. The board is swinging. We're going right now. I'm not wasting another second. They gave me the offer. We're going right now. Where is he? Did I add him to that? Is he not interested? That would make me incredibly sad. He doesn't really want to make the move. I'm going to stall out. You know what we have to do first? Bulo. Where are you, Bulo? Okay, he has match highest earner. Okay, 8 million is, is totally reasonable. The guy's outstanding. They're hyping it. All right, they want him to go anywhere else but here. This guy, though, this freaking dude. All right, let's see what we got. <sighs> Major reservations. This is going to be incredibly difficult. Uh, 
I what was the uh, reset? It was six point six nine. Contract and uh, relegation release clause of zero is going to be minimum fee release clause of ninety eight million. Ninety eight million. I know that's my thought process is I'll be signing a goalkeeper anyways. Before we sign the goalkeeper, I have to check in the bottom left of the negotiation screen to make sure that it is guaranteeing um, a team of the year, like that it's meeting his promise. Top goal scorer in the division, avoiding relegation from the Prem, 500,000, obviously. Um, Zlatko Petrovic, uh, we've got Premier League money now. We have a lot of Premier League money. He went 650,000 if he scores 20 goals. Dude, if you score, we, we didn't have anybody score over 10 in the league this year. If you score 20 goals, I will marry you. I realize that might not be a pro. That might actually be a negative for uh, for Mr. Dominic, but I like, you know, I'm a catch. I think I'm a catch. Whatever. You know what, Dominic? Never mind. Not even negotiating. You don't want a marriage clause? I'm out of here. Uh, it's the highest signing on fee we can do, man. Oh, he's okay with it. Oh, baby. That actually doesn't even raise Bulo's contract that much with the match highest earner. And all we have to do is play him as an advance forward and make sure we sign a goalkeeper this offseason, which is our plan anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Al Shabab, I like the location and I like the one on ones. I don't like the wage of 11 million. That is an issue. Ted Kurd, he's real too. Which means I can't make fun of his name. He's a big-time player in the uh, championship last year. Allowed 38 and 46 appearances. 21 clean sheets. Unhappy wants to leave. Sunderland's interested. And we do have a complete report, and he loves big matches as well. I think we might get Ted Kurd. At the very least, we're going to add Ted Kurd to our Deep Dark Desires list because if Sunderland go after him, we have the firepower to make it okay. Wait, no way our signing of the season was Alexander Nubel on a free from AC Milan. But it was. All of the other signings we made this year, and that is the signing of the season because he averaged a 7.0 on 23 appearances. Great. We sold out every match. Not only did we sell out every match, we sold out on season tickets. Every single possible season ticket was sold for Taunton Town's home games. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. That is what we accomplished. Biggest win, 4-1 against uh, Wolves away. Nice goal of the season, Brandon Evans. Match to remember, a 2-0 away to Leicester. It's probably our only road win of the year. Uh, yeah, our broadcast revenue went from 3.42 million to 102 million. Uh, we made 18.33 million from competitions. And our sponsorship revenue went up some. Evans sold the most shirts than Bulo, Patrick, Mari, and Hernandez. Mexico, big old commercial revenue driver. Surprised that Mari sold a lot of shirts. Patrick's a national team guy with the Czech Republic. That didn't surprise me. Oh, ratty. Tommy Doyle made the team of the season. Fans player of the year, David Bulow. Young player of the year, David Bulow. Highest transfer fee received, Stephen Brogdon for $13 million. Still can't believe that happened. Top goal scorer, Petter Patrick. Dude, we only scored 10 goals. We only scored 10 goals. Like, I need to rephrase that sentence. Our top goal scorer only scored 10 goals over the entire year. We scored by committee. A die had eight assists. Bulo had the highest average rating and most passes completed per 90.